welcome back to week 42 of the Iron Man Road to Completion Escape series. Starting off this week with a little bit of math, uh, I wasn't able to play yesterday or the first day of this week, day 288, uh, but I am able to play today now that my classes are complete. And uh, I'm going to do a display capture and hop over to Excel, where I've been doing a little bit of math here, and uh, I'll zoom in so it's a little bit easier to read. Um, but someone suggested that I uh, do some XP per hour calculations, and um, he stated that it would be faster if I skipped uh, floors 1 through 20, and then um, the resulting XP an hour would just be higher. Like, you would make up the cost of the tokens uh, because you're earning XP at a faster rate, uh, so it's worth the cost. Uh, so what I did was I ran the RuneApps XP tracker. You can see I earned about 233,000 XP in about 50 minutes, 40 seconds. Um, so I made the time right here, uh, 50.7, uh, 233,000 XP an hour. This is the XP I earned net uh, for that amount of time. And then I added in the cost of the tokens um, for skipping floors 3 through 20 specifically, because those are the floors that I ran. Uh, I did 1 and 2 for a daily challenge yesterday. Um, but then uh, I multiplied it by 60, uh, divided by the original time it took. I'm not sure if that math is actually right, uh, but I'm pretty sure it is. So that means that the uh, resulting XP an hour should be about 370,000. Uh, I normally aim for about 360,000, that's where I benchmark myself, but as my dungeoneering level has been going up into the 110s, uh, I've noticed that it started to increase a little bit, get a little bit faster. Um, so even in the low 400s, uh, so it may be worth doing, I'm not entirely sure, again that was only one run, uh, but it looks like uh, it could be worth the cost if you don't enjoy running smalls or something like that. I felt like I got really unlucky for all of that. Uh, my smalls were taking three to four minutes, um, almost every single one, actually. I think there were only three in that uh, collection of 18 that took less than two minutes. And uh, that's normally a good pace for smalls. If you're going really quickly, it should take like two to three minutes. Uh, but most of them taking three to four minutes was just me getting unlucky. So I can test it again later. But uh, it looks like if you don't care for running smalls, you can skip them. Um, up to floor 20 or so. Otherwise, you can just run them all small until you get to like floor 36, maybe floor 30, uh, somewhere in there, and then start running them as mediums. Uh, anyway, that's enough math. Just thought some people might be interested. I did promise the commenter, uh, that I would include this. So, uh, yeah, there it is. I'll also do a little bit of, uh, math in here to show my XP an hour for, like, floors um, up to 30, or maybe 36, and then my overall XP an hour whenever I'm running mediums as well. I'll do, like, an hour, hour and a half of mediums and see what the XP an hour is there, uh, just to compare and make sure that what I just said is true. When you open the first door on a floor and this greets you, there's only one answer. But anyway... Uh, something fun about to happen, gonna come spend my tokens, and, uh, yeah, y'all know, it's going to be unlocking the next floor, and getting 113 Dungeoneering. I was going to get it last night, oh yeah, and it unlocks Calgar the Warmonger, uh, the last boss I need for Dungeoneering, uh, which should give me the last, uh, journal here, at least the last Calgarian note. Um, and it'll unlock the last of the music tracks from Dungeoneering, uh, still another comp requirements. Uh, but anyway, um, I was planning on getting this level last night, you know, I was only like a mil and a half away or something like that, but I got distracted because I felt like doing some overclocking on my GPU, and then, uh, it ended up being pretty late, went to sleep and dreamt of Dungeoneering, so, you know. Of course I had to come do it whenever I woke up. Uh, you know, taking two days off of this game uh, really made me forget just how long these levels take. I just got onto my second, maybe third prestige of the day, actually. 
uh, about to move up to medium floors, but I think I'm gonna end the night here. I've got two million XP left for the next level. You know, the level I picked up this morning, and like that I've done three or four million DG XP today. <laughs> oh man, well at least it's eight mil now uh, to Mother Load Maw, and I've got 300k tokens on me, something like that. Uh, so another bit of that uh, chunk taken care of. Then tomorrow's daily challenge is gonna be like another 315k and. Yeah, no, I'll probably knock out 115 like a day or two from now. We'll we'll see what happens. And on to the next day. Uh, even though ports is no longer a comp requirement for me, I thought I should show something off because it is technically account progress. Uh, I'm going to claim all of these missions. And uh, with that, I should have unlocked the last region, or... Maybe not. 99%. I'm pretty much there, though. Uh, it'll be like one or two more missions, and that'll be there, so... Uh, yeah, I'll unlock the Azure region, the final region, in player-owned ports. And it's finally time to claim another Dungeoneering level. Bam! There's 114. That's uh, 5.9 mil left to go to the next level, to 115 for the Motherload Maw. And, uh... Yeah, I'll probably end up getting 115, maybe halfway through... Uh, possibly even 116 this week, uh, but that's about my goal, uh, especially considering uh, my upcoming plans and the fact that I'm going to do some meal prep or something like that on Thursday, so I won't be able to dedicate as much time as I'd like to to this dungeoneering grind. And today was mostly a day out with the GF, but I still knocked out like 2 to 3 million dungeoneering, so uh, yeah... That's something. Knocked out uh, half of 115. Definitely picking that up tomorrow, because 2.5 mil to go, and I've got 700k tokens, almost. Also, to refer back to that uh, first clip that I had made, uh, I now think that it's a good idea to probably skip, like, the first eight floors or so. After that, it starts to get really expensive, and before that, uh, it's really variable with the XP rate. Um, especially if you run into things like the Luminescent Ice Fiend, or you just get unlucky on the small floors, uh, it seems like it's probably worth it, uh, but I wouldn't skip much further because the next, like, eight floors are super expensive, like, uh, an extra 5k per floor, which is pretty much already what you're earning in XP, so you're giving up twice the cost, and, uh, they were just below par for the, on, on term, in terms of the XP rate, um, so giving up twice that is just not worth it. And it's on to the next day, second to last day of the week, day two number 293. Uh, going to claim my tokens, saving them up for quite a while, and uh, bam, that's 115 Dungeoneering picked up. Uh, that unlocks floor 58, which is nice, uh, but the biggest thing is that I now have access to the Motherload Maw and the Edamu Dungeon, uh, so I'm going to go claim that thing for the first time ever. Um, you can see it, it's like an hour after reset. I purposefully uh, just kept grinding, didn't log off, because I wanted to uh, get an extra day out of the Motherload Maw. Um, hopefully it'll give me something useful like a Livid, par a livid Farm Points Enhancer. Uh, I already have some Rush of Blood Damage Enhancers, uh, but outside of that, I don't know. If it can give me something for Dominion Tower, that'd be nice. 100k Dungeoneering is definitely nice. Uh, let's reach inside here, and let's see what happens. I get a magpie impling jar. Is that it? That's that's my daily thing? Wow. Okay, uh, I'll lobby and log back in and see if I might get something better. I didn't know it could get that bad. I thought it would actually give you something useful. Uh, something that you need to go towards comp. Uh, but let me click it again. And unfocused damage enhancer. Alright, that might be useful. Uh, I'm not sure where I focus it. I think it might be just outside in Melier. Uh, but that could come in handy somewhere. Alright, so seeing as I have uh, two of the Russia Blood damage enhancers already, uh, they should last however many more attempts I need. I'm gonna put this towards Dominion Tower, I think. Um, because... Oh, actually, Nihils. Hmm. 
Now, I think Dominion Tower, because that's going to be the harder of the two things. Uh, so I'll just pick that up. Uh, the next one I get will probably go towards Night Hills, because I still have to get the, uh, the, Annihilator, the Annihilator title uh, by killing all four of the quest Night Hills at the same time. And I've been spending the rest of the day dungeoneering as expected. Um, now I'm down to just under 39 mil left to go for 120. And uh, hey, it's a fun magic level 107. Just goes to show how much combat XP you earn in dungeoneering. Uh, but I'm pretty worn out for the day because I've earned like 4 million DG XP today, if not more. Um, so yeah, it's been kind of a long day gonna do this floor and then go to sleep because uh gotta prepare for that uh, upcoming uh, one to two weeks of non-stop streaming and on to the last day of this week about to end it off but i figure i should go ahead and spin my dungeoneering tokens uh that i built up today so that's 360k 009 um, that puts me at 1.8 million, or 1.9 to 116, and uh, about 36 mil to 120. Uh, also, with this being the end of this week, uh, well, I'm going to take about a two-week break off of this series. Uh, so this week 42 is going to be going up, and then you won't see anything. Uh, but don't worry, I'll be back in full swing after I'm done uh, either hitting level 100 or getting really close to it in Path of Exile. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you before too long.